objectives. Define annuity. Solve some problems in annuity. Apply the present value for ordinary annuity in real life. Present annuity. A cash value of all your future annuity payments. A rate of return or discount rate were part of calculation. Two types of annuities, ordinary annuities and annuities due. Ordinary annuities, it requires payment at the end of each period. For example, bonds generally pay interest at the end of every six months. While annuity due, with an annuity due, by contrast, payments come at the beginning of each period. Rent, which landlord typically require at the beginning of each month, is common most example. Other terminologies in present value of ordinary annuity. Time value of one, the concept of any given sum worth more than now. It will be in the future because it can be invested in the meantime. Bonds are used by the companies, municipalities, states, and sovereign governments to finance projects and operations. Owner of bonds are debt holders or creditors of the issuer. Stock or equity a security that represents the ownership of a fraction of a corporation. This entity is the owner of the stock to a proportion of the corporation assets and profits equal to how much stock they own. Other terminologies in present value of ordinary property. Lump sum it is a single payment made at each particular time, as opposed to a number of smaller payments or installments. Other terminologies in present value of ordinary annuity. Deferred annuity. It is an insurance contract designed for long-term savings, unlike immediate annuity, which starts annually or monthly payments. Almost immediately, investors can delay payments from a different annuity independently. Investment It is an asset or item acquired with the goal of generating income or appreciation. Formula for present value of an ordinary asset. So this is the formula for the present value an ordinary annuity. So this is the continuation. Present value is equals to PMT multiplied by 1 minus 1 divided by 1 plus I as an interest raised to N divided by I as an interest. Where PMT, it means annuity payment deposited or received at the end of each period. While I is the discount rate or interest rate on a per period basis, while n it is the number of period for which the annuity will last. Example of present value of an ordinary annuity. Assume that Anna has the opportunity to receive an ordinary annuity that pays 50,000 pesos per year for the next 25 years with a 6% discount rate or take a 650,000 pesos lump sum payment, which is the better option. So the formula for the present value of the annuity is present value is equals to 50,000 times 1 minus 1 
divided by 1 plus 0 0.06 raised to 25 years divided by 0 0.06. The answer is 639,168 pesos. Example number 2. What is the present value of an annuity of $10,000 to be received at the end of each year for 10 years given a 10% discount rate? So this is the formula for the present value. Where TMT stands for present value annuity times 1 minus 1 divided by 1 plus interest raised to the number of years divided by interest. So, let's substitute the formula. The present value annuity is 10,000 then multiply by 1 minus 1 1 1 plus 0.10 raised to the number of years for 10 years divided by 10% for 10. So, $10,000 times 0 0.6145 divided by 0.10. And the answer is 10,000 times 6.145. The answer is 61,445. Example of annuity statement. Number 1. Regular deposit or savings account. Number two, monthly home mortgage payments. Number three, monthly insurance payment. Number four, pension payments. A present value of an ordinary annuity table. So this presentation presents an ordinary annuity table wherein stands for the number of years. We have 1 year, 2 years, 3 years, 4 years, 5 years, 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, and 25 years. So we have 1%, 2%, 3%, 4%, 5%, 6%. .6%. So you don't have to need a calculation. So if you're given 1 year, 1%, the answer is 0.9901. Number 2, for 2 years, and we have 2%. So if you have 2 years and 2%, the factor is 1.9416. So this table represents for that ordinary answer.